In this video we hope to educate you on the differences between the zippers, between a continuous zipper and a finished zipper. We also want to show you some of the techniques in installing these zippers in your projects. We'll start with a continuous zipper. A continuous zipper is a zipper that's often found in cushions. It can be sewn shut on both ends to provide access for the foam. It's also used in bags. A continuous zipper can also be used like in a tent where it is uh, closed shut at the top but the bottom allows access into the tent. That's a continuous zipper. Now here's a close-up of the zipper. On the left hand side is a number 10 zipper. That's 10 millimeters when the teeth are together and you measure across the teeth only. This is a number 5 size. That's 5 millimeter when you measure across the teeth. These are the sliders. Okay. Now this is a single pull slider and it is for a number five size zipper. Okay. Now the next one is a white uh, double pole slider and it's for the number five size zipper as well. So these can be inserted into your uh, assembly and you need to make sure that you order the sliders uh, separately from the length of continuous zipper that you need and make sure you get enough zippers for your projects. This is a re-rebrand number 10 size and this is a number 10 size for the coil zippers. The coil zippers are a little bit different and let's go into detail about what's different about a coil zipper. Here's a close-up of a coil zipper. You'll notice the teeth are sewn in place rather, rather than molded in place as they are usually on a Vislon zipper. So the teeth uh, make it quite possible for the zipper to go around corners quite nicely. You can see here as we bend it, uh, it bends a little bit easier than the molded zipper uh, shown here. This one's a little bit more difficult to get it to bend nicely around a curve. You can do it, but uh, we really recommend the coil zipper for that. There is a disadvantage to the coil zipper. They don't seem to last as long out in the sun because of that uh, nylon thread that uh, sews the teeth in place. So there's the difference between a regular zipper and a coil zipper. Here's a coil zipper in white on the right hand side and on the left hand side a Vislon. The Vislon looks about the same on both top and bottom where the coil zipper looks a little bit different on the bottom side here. Alright to install a uh, slider on the uh, continuous zipper uh, simply pull the zipper apart and then uh, in insert the fat side make sure the puller is the direction you want it. Do you want the puller on the top or do you want the puller on the bottom? That's just up to preference and up to your project that you're doing. Insert it onto here and insert this side on and then simply just pull it through. The next demonstration shows a continuous zipper in say a tent. The slider has been installed so the fat end points down. This end has been sewn over with a sewing machine. We've also placed a piece of naga hide there to create a bigger stop. When the slider is pulled down toward the bottom, it runs into two end stops on either leg of the zipper. This is exactly how a tent is made. That slider's fat end must be pointing down for this to work. Here you can see the stops that we've installed on either side of the leg. And that's it for continuous zippers. Watch next for finished zippers. Alright, it's now time to discuss finished zippers. A finished zipper is a zipper that separates completely. So pull on the slider and pull it down to the starter and you'll have an, uh, an assembly that comes apart. We sometimes call these uh, separating zippers or jacket zippers. See here how it comes completely apart? That's called a finished zipper. Now let's take a get a close up here of the slider here. This is the starter end. That's the end with the box. When you put the slider down on top of the box it accommodates for the post on the other side that we just unzipped. So take that other side and you'll see the post right uh, there and slide it through the uh, slider and then uh, pull on the puller and you've got the uh, assembly now put back together again. That is a finished zipper. There are double pulls and there are single pull sliders. For a finished zipper, this is a 24 inch finished zipper here. And you can see here we've chopped off uh, one of the legs. This is what the factory uh, puts on the, uh, fin the, uh, the finished end of the zipper to uh, create a stop and they also had one over here. However, we've taken scissors and we've chopped off this section here and we've inserted a stainless steel 
a zipper stop. So when that puller comes up there, it runs into that stop and it doesn't fall off the finished zipper. You never want to cut the end that has the starter on this end, the end that has the box or starter. You never want to cut this in. You only want to cut off this in. So if this is a 24 inch zipper and we want to make it, let's just say, uh, let's make it 19 inches. We would come over here and we would mark 19 inches and we'd actually go up one tooth. So I'm going to go up one tooth above 19 inches and put a line and do that on this side as well. 19 inches, put a line, better to have your teeth kind of together to do that. Let's pull it all the way over here so you get that line right across from each other. So one tooth up from that. And then now the important part of this is to pull that slider down. You don't want to chop this off and have the slider up even though you can install the slider after that. It's just another step. So we'll avoid doing that by pulling the slider down. We'll take scissors and we'll chop right on that line. And notice how easy it is to cut the zipper, which is good. Then we'll take, now this end had that stainless steel stopper. If you don't want to buy a stainless steel stopper, you can always use one of the teeth as a stopper. So we'll chop one tooth off. And it went on the floor, so I'll chop another one. <laughs> chop one there and one there. So we have two teeth that are chopped out of this assembly. And we'll take this tooth and we'll install that here. And all you do is kind of pull these teeth apart and push that tooth in. And there's how it installs. Mm -hmm. So we pull those teeth apart, install it there, and we'll do it here too. So we'll take it and push it in there and that tooth is installed. Now, what you want to do now is take a hot knife this is the professional hot knife that we sell and you want to uh, you can heat this and turn it on and off you don't want it to get really red you just want it hot enough that it burns this this stuff actually can burn so you just want to tap on it and chop off that uh, fabric and then put it on top of the teeth and melt that tooth blow on it to cool it down and then turn it over and do the same thing to this side Okay, and then do, here, do it here, chop off that excess tape, and melt that tooth, blowing on it to cool it down. The reason I blow on it is if you ever take this and you're, fin and you're getting really quick at this and you throw it on top of some fabric while it's still hot, you can actually put a hole in the fabric. You should also melt this uh, the zipper tape, I'm not, sorry, not melt it, but seal the edge so it doesn't unravel on you. So there you go. Now that is a finished zipper that uh, we didn't buy any end stops for it. We just used teeth to create another end stop and it really does look pretty professional. Here's a uh, finished zipper from the factory and there's one that is homemade on this side. Okay, now we want to talk about zippers that lock, that are non-locking zippers and zippers that are locking zippers. The slider, what, what a locking zipper does is it, it, you cannot pull the slider down unless you grab hold of the puller. So grab hold of the puller here, hold the top part of the zipper here, and this will unzip. If you do not grab the puller and try to pull the entire slider, you notice it's locked in place. You can't do it. Every time you grab the puller, you can unzip it. Okay. Now, as far as zipping up, you don't have to grab the puller. It will zip up that way, but uh, zipping down, it's locked in place. That's a locking slider. A non-locking slider is ob obviously the opposite. If you grab the puller, it'll pull down. If you grab the slider, it will also pull down. This is a non-locking slider. Right, that's it for the uh, zipper demonstration. And if you have any questions, be sure to give uh, Sayerite a call. Thanks again for watching. I'm Eric Grant.